Hi guys and welcome back to the Filmy YouTube channel. It's Zach here. It seems like nowadays almost everybody is vlogging and not only vlogging but vlogging every single day, daily vlogs. You might be wondering, how do these people do it? Where do they get the motivation, the inspiration? How do they provide content for every single day of their lives? Let me tell you a secret. It ain't easy. It's very time consuming. It leaves you almost no time for anything else. And so many people get so exhausted that they burn out and stop doing it. But there is one reason why everyone still wants to do it. It drives a lot of traffic to your YouTube channel and makes it grow real big. So when you do daily vlogging and provide consistent content, you'll find that your videos are pushed to the fore of the platform by the platform algorithms. And this results in a real steady growth for your subscriber fan base. Woo! Daily vlogging not only helps your subscriber base grow, but also helps you as a vlogger. It really gets you neck deep in the game and helps you really get better at editing and producing content. You also get more confident in producing your own videos. However, let's not get around it. It does take a lot of commitment, time, and passion to do this right. So today, I'm going to share with you 20 creative tips that you might not have thought of before on how to do daily vlogging right. So let's get started. First up, do a snapshot of your day. Try to capture something exquisite to make your day unique and memorable. Some YouTubers are the masters of this. They are always ready with a camera on hand so that when something interesting happens, they capture it and build a daily vlog around it. You can pick out one story from your day to tell your audience a bit of insight into your life. It doesn't really have to be a major event. It could just be maybe something funny that your cat did or a routine for your day or really anything fascinating or weird that happened that day. Try new things. Anything unique that you're gonna try is always quite interesting for your viewers. Try new clothing on, go to a newly opened restaurant. These attempts will bring brand new immersive experiences for your audience as if they tried those new things too. Go rent some sort of cool form of transportation like a bike, a boat, a scooter, a sports car, something like that. Create an atmosphere like road movie to make your daily vlog a bit more special. Shoot a get ready with me vlog to show your everyday makeup or dressing routine before going out to work or for a date. Another type of vlog you can do is what's in my bag vlog. Show what you put in your daily bag, whether it's like an umbrella, a tumbler, or some chapstick. Really anything easy. It doesn't have to be a complicated video, but these kind of videos show your audience more about you and arouse their curiosity about who you are. Unboxing vlogs are just like a casual product review. Usually you can film the close-up shops of the item you've just bought and share your feelings about using it. You can try to recommend books or films that you're into for your audience. Make a brief introduction of your recommended thing and show the greatest features that you appreciate. A vlog like this is relatively simple to shoot but quite effective. Share productivity habits in your vlog. Show how you personally stay organized and get stuff done. Try to avoid commonplace things and provide a really unique method of keeping yourself efficient. Or you can surprise someone. Come up with an elaborate surprise and film the whole thing. This one's a lot of fun. Shoot a video while you're cooking a meal. Show the ingredients, your recipe, and how you cook a really nice and simple meal for yourself. Shopping is a time when city dwellers enjoy leisure the most. Buying clothes you like in the shopping mall is even more wonderful. Show your audience these times that both of you will enjoy. You can also try DIY projects. As we all know, the coronavirus has us all stuck at home more than ever, so these kind of DIY videos are really easy to do and really appreciated by your viewers. These are quite meaningful as they'll bring a sense of fulfillment for you and provide guidance for your audience to learn from. For example, you can make a succulent wall, install your own custom closet, and so on. Share your workout videos. For example, the setting can be going to the gym every day or every week and showing what kind of weight training exercises you enjoy the most. Play a prank. Pull a good-natured prank on your friends, your family, your colleagues, etc. and capture the whole thing to make your video real funny. What did you learn today? Share some knowledge or lesson of something that you learned today. It could be super simple, but make your point more intriguing by telling a story. Another idea is to simply share what you've recently been reading or watching. To get more views, you can choose some up-to-date movies or books to share. You could also try a room tour because room tours really show the intimate traces of your life. For example, you can shoot those new exquisite decorations that you have, the tidy table that you just organized and the flowers in the vase or the rock and roll poster and liquor that you have in your room. All of this is really just to let your audience know your personality better. Make a tutorial video, like how to make a proper old fashioned. You gotta have the right amount of alcohol, you have to have the right amount of water content to rank bitters. 
Though step-by-step -step guidance helps your audience master this life skill. Sharing behind the scenes content is an amazing way to give people an inside look into who you are and what your brand represents. It also builds a connection with your target audience. Do a video about your favorite things. For example, if you like playing guitar, you can share your story with the guitar you have and also play and sing a song in your video. Do a vlog in the style of one of your other favorite vlogs. So learn from the style of vlogs that you've always appreciated and add your own unique features on top of it. You can also ask your followers to do a Q&A session where they ask you a question and then you do a vlog to answer their question. There are so many ways to make your own daily vlogs, so many types of content to include, but when it comes down to it, there's only one very important thing and that is you need to tell a good story. Good storytelling is the basis of any good video and especially daily vlogs. It's a way to let your audience really feel what you are feeling, get into the action with you, and really want to keep watching your videos and subscribe to your channel. So I wanna talk specifically about characters, theme, setting, and conflict, and how all of these elements really will help you bring your daily vlogs to life. So first up, characters. When you're making your own daily vlog, of course, there's already one character in the story, probably the most important character, and that is you. You, for the most part, are going to be the main character, the entire story for the most part. Your vlog can also have secondary characters like friends or family or someone you're collaborating with. You could have a friend who's always appearing in the videos and then your audience will begin to recognize that person as a main secondary character. And if these characters show up enough, you might find that if you ever make a video without that person, your audience might respond and say, oh hey, where did Tom go? Characters create something that people can connect with, that they can sort of resonate with. All right, so we have the best main character in the entire universe, you. But even you are useless without a good theme and setting. Having a theme and setting of your video will really give your videos a sense of style and a foundation that the audience can dig into. The theme is what the story is really about. It's the main idea or underlying meaning of the entire story. Often, it's a storyteller's personal opinion on the subject matter. We have just provided you 20 ideas to help you decide on a theme for your videos and start your storytelling with a focusing point so that your audience won't get lost and will always understand what you're trying to say. When it comes to setting, I recommend you choose a suitable setting and keep it pretty much fixed. When your audience sees that familiar face or that familiar place or that familiar background, it creates a sense of establishment in your entire channel. All right, so we have the beginnings, we have the place, we have the theme, we have the best main character in the universe. And now it's time for some action. And by action, I mean conflict. You need something that builds up suspense and keeps your audience really engaged to see what happens next. This kind of conflict is what really drives the story and makes the story interesting. If there's no conflict, not only will the audience not care, but there will also be no compelling story to tell. Now, I'm not talking about something overly dramatic like the Titanic and the iceberg, but you'd really be surprised to find how much conflict happened in vlogs all the time, everywhere. Really, everyone does it in a ton of different forms. Conflict may arise in every kind of relationship from friction between a character and their overbearing parents to conflict between heroes and villains. Try to find an enchanting and compelling story to keep your audience there to the very last minute and then you will be a compelling storyteller too. All right, so you've got all this awesome content, you shot the characters, you shot the conflict, you got all this awesome stuff, it's time to tell your story. Now comes the interesting part, you need to edit it. And editing is actually more crucial than you think. How you edit your video is going to decide how many people are going to actually watch your video, how the story you tell will actually look in its final form. And to begin any of this process, whether it's a film, a vlog, or any video that you're doing, the first thing you need to know is know what you're working with. You need to know your footage, you need to scrub through all of it. So the first step in this is bringing all your footage into your software and start looking through it. I use Filmy. So using Filmy, what I do is I scrub through all my footage just to see what I've shot, to see all the things that I've captured throughout my day. Whatever it is that I'm vlogging about, just so I know all the footage that I have. If there are major gaps, for example, if there's something I didn't remember that I shot, now I know about it. Scrubbing through the footage beforehand makes it so that when I actually start editing, it's a lot easier to be like, yes, oh yes, I do have that, I don't have that, I'm gonna put that in the edit, I'm gonna put it in this order, or I have to figure out creative ways to jump from this to this if I'm missing some footage. And now comes the second part, which is actually editing the video. Depending on the software tools and the resources that you use, editing doesn't actually have to be that difficult. It can be quite easy. 
For me, I use Filmy. So what I do is I just take all my footage and put it on the timeline. And because it has a magnetic timeline, it literally just starts, all the footage goes there and you can watch it from the beginning to the end, work my way through. It makes it go really fast and I can cut my vlogs in even just an hour, maybe two hours, depending on what situation was. Obviously some vlogs take a little bit more effort than others, but some of the more basic ones, I can chop it up super quickly using Filmy just by dropping all the footage on the timeline and going at it. So guys, while you're editing your video, there's one thing to keep in mind. It is, you need to kill your babies. What? Yes, kill your babies. When I was back in college, one of my professors told me this and it really is critical. Just because you've shot something does not mean it needs to make it back into the final edit. Sometimes if you include everything that you shot in your vlog, it will kill your video. You may say to yourself, oh, I spent all this time and effort to get these awesome shots and da 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 da, but guess what? If they don't fit the story, they don't belong in the vlog. Just take them out. You gotta remember that even professional Hollywood studios, even the Avengers sometimes have to take out shots that they made. They spent millions of dollars getting a shot, but they have to take them out because they don't fit the story. When you're shooting, you're editing, you're doing all of these things, you can't put weights on individual shots just because of how long, how complex a shot was, when you were on set shooting, or out in your day shooting. You have to think of the project as a story. And when you're editing, you need to look at the footage objectively. And that's the key. If it's that shot maybe took two hours to do and it looks cool in a time lapse, it has all this movement, but it doesn't fit the video at all, you're just gonna have to take it out. The story is more important than putting in all of your little baby shots. And the final tip I'll give about editing these daily vlogs is always be on the lookout for the hook while you're editing. So what's the hook? It's 10 to 15 seconds somewhere in the video that's really interesting or really, you know, controversial or something like that. Something that will get the audience's attention. And with that hook, what you'll do is you'll take it, you'll edit it, copy it, and put it at the beginning of your vlog. Whether it's a sentence that someone said, or an action, or you're falling off a cliff into the water, or something like that. It could be somewhere, anywhere in your vlog. It's basically just a moment or an idea that really captures and hooks your viewer's attention. And that is an important part of the vlog because it really gets the people in. It gets them into the story, and then they'll want to watch all of your vlog. You have your beginning, middle, and end. You tell your story, and that's how you keep people on your channel and get them to subscribe. So guys, like I said, there's no way to get around it. These type of daily vlogs require consistency and persistence. It's so easy to just give up. You know, if you're making all these videos, you always post every day a new video and you only get a few views. It's so easy for newbies to just call it quits and leave. But guys, you have to stay there. There's fierce competition out there, but if you keep being persistent and consistent, you will make it too. So just don't give up and keep going. Keep making content. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Do you have any cool ideas or topics for a daily vlog that you wanna share with me? You know, I love hearing your comments, guys, and like I said, there's millions of ways to structure a daily vlog, and I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. So thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long video, and in this video, I really hope that I earned your subscribe and your like today, so please smash those buttons pretty please. Zach here for today, guys, and see you next time.